we're going to upgrade one of these micro desktops to replace one of my family members computers and we're just going to go with this one right here these are really great little desktops with pretty good front io and access options along the back with native support for up to three displays which is actually pretty cool and one of my personal favorite features of this model is the fact that these ones are made to run at 35 watts so really low power footprint and can be very efficient this device has officially been decommissioned by the company that I got it from, so it is going to need some parts to upgrade. To open this up along the back, we're going to slide this latch to the left to the unlocked position and slide the front assembly forward. And then we can lift that straight off. And this is the interior of our device. Here we can see our two and a half inch drive bay. If we look right in here, we can see there's an M.2 slot in there for an NVMe drive. We're not gonna be using that on this build, but it is a good upgrade path for later on. We have our CPU heatsink and we have our fan. And directly underneath there, we have our RAM slots. Just look at that dust right there. This device has four gigabytes of RAM in it, and we are going to be replacing that with this eight gigabyte stick, which we will line up the notches and slot into place with the click. Then we can fit our fan cover back into place. We have to line up the notches just right so that it hinges up and down. Now that that is into place, we're going to put our SSD bay in. We're going to flip this up right here. Officially, we could add the screws to the side of this and mount it in just right, but this really isn't going to be moving once it gets put into place. So we're going to line up our notches and we'll just slide this drive in and then put this pin down. That is our internal hardware modifications already done. So we can take our cover and slide it right back on. And then it is time for our OS and we are going to be using Chrome Flex OS. We'll plug in our power, mouse and keyboard. Then it's time to turn this device on and spam the F9 key. Then we will select our one-time boot disk. And from there, it takes us straight into the Chrome Flex OS setup menu. And we are going to install Flex OS. And then you can set this up just like you would any other Chromebook. Now this computer is officially ready and I can hand this off for it to get to work.